Billy's bucket list. Uh, beginning of the episode, Billy is still dead. I was kind of hoping he'd be back. Honestly, like, no, no, he wasn't dead. They just cloned his skin or something. But no, he's oh. really dead. I, yeah, wearing his real skin is much better. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I come across, uh, at the beginning of a rap battle, the best rap battle <laughs> ever, may I say. Good God. I don't know how anyone can keep up with us two. Quantum uh, physics. <laughs> Drop the mic. Um, he comes across uh, Canyon, who was Billy's ex-girlfriend, and she just feels bad that Billy's still gone, and Jake's clearly in denial, and so they decide, eh, let's go to, go to his crack. Let's go to his crack. And they go in there, and... Uh, they find this. The crack is infested by fairies. Yes, infested yes, by is. fairies. Uh, I like to point out, I remembered a character that you did, or at least a voice actor you voice. did. Voice, oh yeah. Yeah, that, that Mark Hamill not only did that King of the Fairies, but he was also uh, the fear that came out of... Fear uh, Feaster. Yeah, the fear Feaster came out of Finn's stomach. So I, I knew that, I got that right. I'm terrible with voices. Well, I'm terrible with names, so... Hello, Matthew Broderick, Timon, <laughs> or Pumbaa. Right. Remember, I'm terrible at that stuff. I, I forgot about admit. that. Um, <laughs> How can you forget it? <laughs> that was beautiful. You're right. She that. Um, we'll frame that moment. Yes. <laughs> so they, um, so they decide they, they find the bucket list, uh, Billy's bucket list, and they decide to do all the things on there, which is like you know. Uh, one says till Finn that thing, and I was like, ride motorcycle one last time, and they ride over this cliff, and it blows up, and it's awesome, and, you know, Canyon thinks it's cool, so she goes back home, and then the last thing is that he has to, uh, line the ocean in water. So, of course, Finn still... Lie Finn... in the ocean in water. <laughs> it's been a long day, okay? <laughs> been a long day. I'm doing a lot before I go to the convention. Sometimes my back words, I get my words, okay? Okay, so, understandable. Uh, so they go <laughs> into the ocean and water. And <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess technically you could lie in the ocean, like, in a boat. There you go. D don't try to make sense of my ramblings. Sorry. You only get hurt. Well, people are going to yell at me anyway, so... <laughs> you need to take a load! <laughs> <laughs> um... So he goes, he confronts his fear again, the fear feaster comes back, but he confronts him, and he has this weird dream, I think it's a dream, where he loses his hat, and a whale takes it, and then the hat grows big, and the whale comes out, but he confronts it, and sure enough, he's in the water, in the ocean, and <laughs> looks in the stars, there's Billy, and... Billy just talks to him, thanks so much, you know, and, and now I can be at peace, as a real hero. By the way, your father's alive. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was... The season finale for that. And what a, uh... Dad the human, not Joshua. Dad the human. The, the dad real the human. dad, yeah. Um, and he tells him where he is even in the, uh, in the Citadel. Uh, so, I do think that's a pretty solid season finale. I like it because it's not... Most of the other ones, for the most part, are like these really big cliffhangers or really big epic episodes. And this one's mostly sort of, you know, kind of downplayed and sort of... But... Returns to its old roots, like with him being afraid of water and sort of these old characters, and nothing really major going on. And then suddenly, just boom, this big, huge chunk of information that just makes, I'm sure, anybody watching it go, woo! And it's a great place to leave off. So, uh, I liked it. I, I, especially after the last, like, five or six that, like, just crammed in so much, it was nice to have one that was really laid back and, and a little slower and kind of cool, and then just, like, this huge you know, thought at the end. <laughs> you go. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I was one of those. I went, what? <laughs> yeah, their faces were priceless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I absolutely loved this. Um, at first, I was going to, actually, as he presses play, I'm like, wait a minute, what about Billy and he's and he's, I'm like, just She said exactly like watch. that, exactly <laughs> like that. Wait a wait minute. A minute. Finger, you know, and Jason was like, just, shh, just watch, and I was like, but I'm gonna call this, but this is, you know, yeah, so these I, people really like to, you know, no, never mind. I know, I'm horrible, but I don't care. So, um, I liked Canyon a lot. There's something about her I really enjoyed. I liked 
um, just the relationship, I guess, between Canyon and Finn. They kind of come together and become friends through Billy, knowing Billy mutually. And, and I thought it was really neat. I thought it was a very natural friendship. Um, I really enjoyed it, especially with Finn, honestly, just the only real friendship he has is with Jake. Otherwise, really, Bemo's kind of there, but he doesn't, I don't think he really... Don't you dare talk bad about Bemo. I love Bemo. I just don't feel that Finn considers Bemo his friend. I think Finn considers Bemo as this little guy that lives in their house. I don't think he sees Bemo like he sees Jake. I disagree. Well, <laughs> I, I think good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he sees Bemo as a friend, but not someone like, hey, I can talk to you about stuff and you can offer bag well, advice. Well, Jake's yeah. his brother. Jake is Finn's brother. Um, so there's obviously that stronger connection. Well, so besides Bemo and Jake, I mean, really, his interactions, I mean, with Bubblegum and Flame Princess recently, it's like, ugh. And so it's really refreshing to see. Just this very sweet, very natural, like, hey, we kind of, you know, we're getting to know each other, and look, we have something in common. How cool is that? And just do this thing, you know? And, and even when they're saying goodbye, you know, and he's like, so maybe I'll see you around. And she's like, yeah, sure. And and they just do, like, a fist bump, and it, it was really nice. I really liked that a lot. I'm sad that we don't see a lot of Jake. At first, I was like, yay, Jake's back, but um, he's still not, which I guess is okay. The one, um, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Well, I was saying the one interesting thing that about halfway through, I did sort of go, yeah, wait a minute, is that, you know, it, it's good to have, like, a, a good relationship with, like, you know, with someone you date or whatever, but at the same time, you do sort of go, yeah, why did they break up? They specifically wrote her as ex-girlfriend. Yeah. And you never saw why they broke up. So you could always assume, eh, maybe it just didn't work out, whatever, and maybe they're still friends. Or, like, maybe something really big happened, like, and she was feeling guilty and came back to, you know, now that he's dead. I mean, that can bring even the worst of enemies out. No, you know, she to pay said respect. why they yeah. broke up. Oh, 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 I missed that. What was that? Are you kidding me? I totally oh my missed God. It. Oh no, that's right. That's oh right. He my play, God. No, that's right. He played video games and stuff. That's right. He got too he lazy. He got lazy. He that's played right. video games and watched movies all day long, and it pans over to Finn, and Finn is like, "Whoops." You know, I, I was too busy watching the movie about the video game over there, so I got distracted. Yeah. I do remember that though. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, then that brings me to my other thing. I like the fact that it is an ex-girlfriend, and it's like, oh, they still have like. A cool relationship, it seemed like. You know, it wasn't like... Yeah. You know, you, you kind of think, like, ex-girlfriend at a funeral, like, you can go for a lot of jokes here. I tell you a lot of the dumb, mean, idiotic stuff he did, but it's like, no, it was still cool. They, they treat it really like two people who never met coming together and finding out more through a mutual friend who has passed away. I mean, really what it is. So, yeah, I, yeah. I, I dug that, too. That's it. I, this is one of the best episodes I've seen... Oh, in really? Long, you like it that much? In a long time. I do really love it. I love exactly what you said. I love the pacing of it, where it's kind of like, well, stuff is happening, but we're pretty laid back. I mean, it's it's a neat little episode, and then right at the end, it's like, <laughs> bam! Dad, Dad the human, what? And then you're like, <gasps> um, I, ca- I kind of really liked that. I like that it made me screech. I liked the possibility, too. That's it. It's the possibility... Of something new, of learning something new. I, I love Ice King. He's one of my favorites, and I love that the Simon storyline, but I'm dying to see more about Finn. I'm dying to see is this true? Is this really his dad? And what the hell? And this whole human thing, because he is a human amidst everything that is not. I just, so many questions. It opens up so many questions, so many possibilities, and that's. And and all of them positive. Oh. No, I think you guys are right. I mean, the thing is with this one is, this feels like an Adventure Time episode. Yeah. yeah. The other ones felt like Adventure Time episodes that were trying to get a lot in there. This yeah. one just felt natural. It felt like we were kind of going back a season. And yeah. it just felt like you could watch it and have a good time. You know, there, it wasn't heavy. It wasn't like anything like... 
to tug on any of your heartstrings or any of your emotions. It was just kind of like, boom, it's there. Oh, man, okay, he's dealing with the loss of his friend. He's going to help out, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all that stuff. He's interacting with a female where either she's not crushing on him and he, or he's not crushing on her. Mm -hmm. Like, anytime time he's interacting with a female, for the most part, that seems to be what it is. And I know it's not always, but, like, that's kind of the majority of what happens. And this is just one where it's like, no, nah, hey, we both like Billy, we're both close to him, let's hang, in a sense. Plus, uh, some great lines. Billy, here's Billy's loincloth. He's just like, oh, wah! God. And Starch is like, oh, that stinks! <laughs> But um, he would even put it on. <laughs> um, I loved when Finn is looking at the list, and he says, uh, tell Finn that thing. And he's like, oh, that's going to bother me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. he ends up finding it out, but I love just hearing him say that, because just imagine, like, yeah. let's say I died tomorrow, and you see this thing, and it says, tell Doug that thing I wanted to tell him since the day I met him, or something <laughs> like that. Doug, you're going to be like, Oh, god damn it. Yeah. I'll never, never know what the hell this is, and that's going to well, bother just how, the shit out of me. Just how he knows it's always going to bug him, but it's all he's so commonplace about it. Well, that's going to bug me forever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love, that's one of my favorite lines. Um, pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a fun episode. I like to, uh, again, it's closing more doors. There's no more Fear Feaster. Fear Feaster's gone. He, he killed the Fear Feaster. Um, he conquered his fear of the ocean. Uh, it, it's, it's, I think the, you know, the team or whatever is trying to close a bunch of doors so they can open up new doors. I like the new doors. People seem to, you know, it, it happens in all cartoons where, you know, you have this set of characters and most people don't want that set of characters to change. You don't want any of them leaving in any way, shape or form. And I think with Adventure Time, what I really like is they're not afraid to sit there and say, okay, you know what? Billy's dead. Billy's gone. Uh, I mean, they, they took him out, which I give them credit for. They're, they seem to be saying, okay, Lemon Hope, we're kind of done with Lemon Hope. You know, we're not going to be seeing him again. Like him or dislike him, I mean, give him, I, I'm surprised, you know, that they're willing to go that far. A lot of cartoons, it'll be like, okay, here we are on the couch. This is us. Oh, look, here's our guest character for one episode. And then you never see that character ever again. Yeah. Adventure Time has a habit of bringing back characters that you expect to only be there for only that one episode. Like, Root Beer Guy was in this episode. Mm -hmm. Granted, it was kind of in the background and everything, but he's still there. Mm -hmm. Like, they're consistently bringing back minor characters, which most cartoons don't do, or most shows don't even do. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they're not, af they're not afraid to sit there and go, okay, we had Lemon Hope, we've figured out what we're going to do with him, done, over with. I, I like that. I like that there's beginnings and closures in the show. Well, the, nice. the fine thing, too, we were talking about these past few episodes where they're just trying to sort of close off these doors and axe off these characters and stuff, and it's like, where well, they've kind of done that before, but they haven't done so many in a row. I, mm -hmm. I can think of maybe one time where I was saying, like, you know, we're getting quite a few of these in a row. Can we get kind of a lighter one? And then they opened up again but yeah it's like these past few have not only been really heavy but they've just been cramming so much uh yeah it's kind of like these past five episodes have been like transformers the animated movie like nope these characters are dead now now it's time for these new characters and new stories yeah. um i love that movie <laughs> favorite so movie much. of all time i can quote that mo like i can from beginning to end including all of the music I can vouch for him, seriously. Actually, it does have a great soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> you got the Dutch! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that soundtrack. Um, everything else is crap. But, <laughs> <laughs> and Orson Welles' last performance. There's a lot of funny things about that movie, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I thought this was, like you said, it really felt like Adventure Time. And not to say, like, what am I watching? This is an adventure time. It's like, yes, it is. I mean, but it's so much is crammed into it. It's, it's like we're watching three... It's like we're watching big events in Adventure Time, which is like, it's always fine. They've had big events, but suddenly they have, like, five in a row. It's like, it, you kind of missed the actual show for a bit. Yeah. You know, you had five events, and then finally an episode. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, uh, you know, I, I love events, like I said, but they're, they are best spaced out. Um... So, yeah, no, I, de I definitely thought it was pretty solid. I thought it was a really good, yeah, uh, uh, 
season finale too um because that just leaves people just really wanting more but still being satisfied with what a like if you told me this was the season finale going in i'd be watching this episode like oh well, it's fine but it's a shame it's not like i don't know cliffhanger or whatever and then just boom right in your face like what and then it's gone dude i, I did actually say this was the season <laughs> no, no 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 but i okay if i was someone watching this like, oh okay i was just live or whatever you. um but uh yeah no so i definitely liked it <laughs> I, I don't know why we're still talking when we could watch the next episode. To the next episode! Really? Yes. Not you. You're you're watching the v Are you going to be doing this, like, dumb yeah. Batman thing, really, with the whole to the next episode? That's what I'm expecting you to do. Well, like, a logo comes out, like, Dah! Yeah, like, is that really what you're going to do? I well, just, if I you insist. I just want to watch. I just want to watch. Then to the next episode! <laughs>